let me show you how you can install eSIM in iPhone 11. So first, let me show you the confirmation email that I have received from eSIM to fly after paying the purchase. Here is my confirmation mail and here you can see my eSIM and QR code format delivered via email. Make sure that your phone is connected to a Wi-Fi before proceeding. So, let's get into it! On your iPhone, go to Settings, click on Cellular, then Add Cellular Plan, Scan the QR code provided via email by eSIM to fly. Wait for it to be read by your phone. Once it's done, just click on Add Cellular Plan. Then you have to choose which label are you going to use for this. It's secondary or primary, it's up to you. Then click on Continue. Then you just have to choose your default line if it's your primary or this one, your eSIM as secondary. Then just update the carrier settings. Click on continue, allow cellular data switching, choose the cellular data plan, and you're good to go. After installing the eSIM to my iPhone, let us go on and see the speed of eSIM to fly by using my speed test application in my phone. So let's just hit on go. All right, so now it's actually connecting to the data. Wow, 35.2 Mbps of data is not bad, especially here in the Philippines where the data and also internet connection is really slow and having this speed is actually a high speed internet already. So not bad, right? So there you have it, guys. I hope you find this video helpful for your future eSIM purchase. And if you do have any other question with regard to eSIM, or on this eSIM to fly data package that I have purchased online, just let me know so that I can record a video for it. Thank you!